This video is going to be for doing something called bluing. So first off we're just going to briefly cover what bluing is. And bluing is when metal gets heated up and cooled down repeatedly. And over the course of time it affects the colour of the metal. So we start off first by painting your metal like you would normally. With your silvers and you might maybe want to use a colour like null oil to add a bit of extra texture and colour to it. Next we want a red. Take most of the paint off the bush, so you're basically just dry brushing it. And the first coat doesn't need to go all the way to the end. Next we're using a, a purple. Same thing applies as the last time. You're going for more of a dry brush rather than a nice thick coat. One thing that's quite important to remember that means you're doing dry brushes is obviously you're going to be cleaning your brushes between one coat to the next. So make sure you've got all the moisture out of your brush. Next we're using blue, and the last and final colour is going to be black. The main things to remember when doing this bluing is to apply the paint as a dry brush. Don't try and have it as perfect straight lines, and the colours will eventually blend into themselves. And this is a great effect, not just for things like laser weapons like this one, but also things like, your, for example, melter guns or uh, flamers, and also the exhausts on vehicles as well. Next we're going to cover the jets. First I'd like to mention if you've got the time to click the subscribe button. I've painted these the same as the bluing on the other parts of the video that you've seen all but the black. I've left the black off so once you've got to the blue that's the point where you want to stop. Next I've used three parts of this to one part of this and as you can see on the end here we've painted it white and we've applied several coats of white to make sure we get a good solid white there and then this mix of colour we've made we want to apply this and we want to cover both the outside and the inside while it's drying I'm going to leave it this way up so it helps to encourage the flow to push downwards due to gravity. Next we're using some more blue. Only this time what I want to do is use the blue just to catch the top edge of these pieces here. The next colour we're going to use, we're going to use this to cover the this edge, the outside edge, and then the edge on the opposite side, but not the inside. Next, we want to cover the this section again, but we want to cover the inside part. And this is the colour we're going to use. 